a beautiful harbor here at City Skylines. Welcome back, everybody. This is It's City Skylines time with Mr. Jokey. Uh, sorry for the uh, few absent episodes last week. Uh, I was a bit busy and didn't have time to uh, record the new ones. But here I am again, Monday, posting and recording new episodes just for your pleasure. Here's a beautiful view of our harbor, which is what we've done last time, among other things. Uh, let's jump right into it. What are we gonna do today? I don't know, we will see what's required of us. Probably have to straighten up this road at some point, because this is definitely not right angles. So, let me slow the game down, unpause it, let's see what's up. Lots of dead people. I think our dead people pick rappers are struggling a bit. So I'll build a couple more. Um sure this looks like a great spot. Right here. Yeah, instead of that building we build one of these. Hopefully it'll take care of things. And uh, let's just briefly look at what we've done so far. We've got a metro line going through our place. We have no buses. We have shipping lanes over here. Okay, we're not building that yet. As far as our train station, we have a cargo train station right here. Trains going through there. And everything's good on this end. Now we're losing people. I think on account of all these daddies. Yeah, so dead person's waiting for transit. Just wonder why, because... We do have a lot of crematoriums, so I don't know what the holdup is. We build a, another one over here. Just like that. So many dead people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight crematoriums, but it's not really doing what what, it, what we would assume it's doing, and that is picking up the dead people. If we look at this, they processed 28 people last week using all of their hearses, and it's still not enough. I think it's because we built all these high-rise buildings, but they're just working around the clock. Let me build another one over there instead of that house. Eventually we're gonna bulldoze this bit and uh, build another high density residential area, but let's just give it a bit of time and hope it's gonna sort itself out. We've helped it a little bit by building a couple more. Um, a couple more mortuaries or incinerators for people. What are they called again? Crematoriums. Yeah, crematorium. If you ask me, it's the better of the two options. If you get cremated, bam, that's it, you're done. You can dump the ashes into, a, into the wind somewhere. Unless you're in a country where dumping people's ashes is illegal, in which case I do not encourage you to do it. But, you know, if you if you have a grave, somebody's got to pay upkeep on that grave, and, and just... It's just generally not fun for anybody to have a grave. At the same time, if you do have a grave, eventually somebody's going to dig you up as a... As a... Oh, look! This is a this is a person from long time ago, so that might be exciting too. 
Jesus though, look at this, it's not really getting sorted out at all. In fact, if anything, it's getting much worse. There's dead people everywhere. No wonder people are leaving the town. I want to live in a town full of dead people. Okay, let's build another crematorium then. All of them are working non-stop, but I wonder if the problem with that is that they don't have enough healthcare and that's why they're dying so freaking often. If I build a large hospital here. I should help it now. It's gonna be like a medical university campus. The university is right next to a hospital so that students can get their internships and whatnot done straight away. How's our police coverage? Seems to be looking good. Fire coverage. Eh, could be better. Whatever though. Nothing's catching on fire in there, so I'm not too worried. We need a new high school. Somehow we've underestimated the amount of people that we have in our town. So I'll build a high school right over here. Yeah, I know these people need it the most, but there's already a high school there. So my hope is that by building a high school here, these people are gonna move over here and allow for these people to go to that high school. Although by the looks of things, the availability is just barely above the capacity. I mean, the, the, the capacity is just barely above the number of eligible people. And we have the same problem with our elementary schools. Place another one over here by the high school. That should help it a bit. Water good, power best. So really the only problem we have is, not this, but this. Taking care of dead people. And we have a crazy, crazy number of funeral homes, but just... I don't know if they're not working full time or... or ah! There we go! started vanishing so I think we've we've got it covered we've got it under control now I think these are the two houses that I started a previous episode on you can see now that they're nothing special anymore in our town they were one of the first high-rise buildings but now now look at it there's two more over here two more over here it's starting to look pretty neat I think how are our offices doing? Offices are looking shabby as usual. I would have thought that those would be offices. Not businesses, but oh well. Bulldoze some industries. Away. Let's bulldoze this a little bit so something bigger can get built over there. Alright, let's move on to something exciting, which I don't know what that's gonna be. I'm thinking we should upgrade the road in the middle of here, because the traffic down through here must be enormous by now. Six lane road, decorative trees, I think that's gonna take away the parking spots, but honestly I don't care. gonna speed things up for all these people. Well, except for that guy. That guy apparently doesn't like it. And let's do the same for these. Like so. And like so. 
your own building. And we'll do this right there as well. And here, basically we're just gonna upgrade all the roads that we've built so far. Mainly because with the increasing number of people we need the traffic to move out of the way a bit quicker than it does now. It is taking way too long and, and basically it's bottlenecking the whole town. And I don't know about you but I'm just not gonna stand for food traffic in my town. Bad enough there are plenty of cities in the world that have to deal with this crap and fail at it. Sometimes due to no fault of their own. Sometimes due to their own fault. I think one thing of note that I've noticed from my time living in the United States is that the problem why United States outside of East Coast doesn't have a very good public transportation system is this grid system where yeah this is the best way to most efficiently build a city because you know everything is well everything is a grid and that is a fairly simple unit to to work with but the problem with a grid is that if you're trying to cross a grid diagonally you can't. You have to go around the arms of the triangle. So the any any sort of public transportation that goes along with that runs into the same problem where buses have to basically copy the grid system and it takes forever to get anywhere because you have to take one bus along this arm of the triangle and then another bus along this arm of the triangle and if you get lucky this bus only comes once an hour and you're screwed everything takes forever then metro lines are great because they don't have to worry about streets they could go diagonally easy peasy but the trouble is that I think a lot of American city um, officials the people responsible for for city planning don't realize that although building a metro digging the tunnels is really expensive it is massively expensive trust me um, it does pay off for itself because it does take the traffic off the ground puts it underground and it is capable of transporting a lot of people so for example cities like Denver Cities like Denver would be perfect for having underground underground railroads, subways, but they don't. City of Denver is building light rails, which is basically a metro line but above ground. And even though that is a good thing because it's better than nothing, if you think about it, it is taking space that could be used for something completely different. like residences or businesses or some form of infrastructure because if you've watched what was it two weeks ago last week tonight with John Oliver if you haven't seen it I encourage you to check it out on American infrastructure um, you will know that I'm not just trying to bash the United States here because I don't like bashing anybody really unless they deserve it but the infrastructure in the United States is basically falling apart and it's not just roads it's everything it's dams it's power lines it's, it's water pipes everything's been built 50 million years ago and it's just not up to par anymore and it costs money it costs a lot of money just like in this game it costs a lot of money to upgrade roads it costs a lot of money to uh, upgrade roads in the in the real world and unfortunately in the real world it's much more difficult to actually get that money but Anyway, I'm just gonna start dezoning these bits and rezoning them for high density stuff. 
could build a little little park over there. So let's do that. I need like a tiny one, like Paradox Plaza size. Uh, unfortunately, the roads don't fit there. Okay, no park then. Um, this triangle, I'm excited for this triangle. I'm not yet sure how I'm gonna deal with it, but I'm gonna put in the middle maybe some like statue or something. But I bet all the statues are on a square similar to this one, and they're not gonna fit, which is sad because it could have been like our city's little Trafalgar Square or something. Even is this statue of shopping. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Transport tower. Do, do, do. I think it's where all the uh, transportation companies reside. Oh, that is nice. What's the upkeep on it? A bunch, but not too bad, actually. Is this not straight, or what? It's not straight. This is stupid. How is our road crooked? When we had the snap turned on, I don't understand. But whatever. What does it do? What does it do for us if I build it? The transport tower is a large office building specially meant for public transport companies. Requirement for building space elevator. Okay, so it allows us to build a space elevator and that is kind of about it. Yeah, let's let's not do that then. We've got the stadium, expo center, an opera house, nothing. A mall, mall of moderation. I already built one of them, didn't I? Oh no, that's just a special building that's lined up over there. Okay, uh, a mall of moderation. Let me build it right here. Yeah, like so. People are gonna enjoy that, hopefully. If not, they can bugger off. Fount fountain of life and death. Let's build one of those over here. Let's try to make it so that we're not wasting any precious space anywhere. Which is apparently a bit more difficult than I would like it to be, but that's fine. Fountain of life and death is making our buildings rank up. That's good. A statue of wealth. Let's put one of those over here. Without breaking the power lines again. Oh, it's okay. Whatever. Let's go and fix them quickly before people start whining. Chill out, fixing it. Calm down. See, it's working, everything's fine. Just had a temporary power outage. Ooh, we're losing a lot of money though now. Well, not losing, but the upkeep on this has cost us a lot of money from our income. Anyway, let's check out the fountain of. Ooh, no, wrong button. Let's check out the fountain of life and death. And end this episode right there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. Uh, it, I really appreciate it. It is it is nice that you know that people actually take the time to watch my videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next episode. Bye.